The difficult part of, of dealing with Japan after the, the Second World War is that in some ways the shadow of the um, Pacific War didn't seem to bother the United States very much. The United States very quickly regained uh, its relations with Japan, concentrated on its economic development, saw it as an absolutely vital um, chess piece within the larger Cold War. Japan's relations with other countries differed. With Western Europe, the Pacific War was a very large shadow indeed. And it's not really until the 1960s, 1970s that relations with the Western Europeans recover. So Japan's entry into the free world is a rather tentative business, with the Americans far more in advance um, than its allies within the world. The most important turning point in Japan is 1960. Um, the Japanese were, at that point, um, they sign a new security treaty with the United States, which put it on a much more equal basis than it had been before. But there was a fear in Japan that the conservative prime minister at the time wanted to take Japan into a fuller alliance, fuller into the, into the Cold War. And this led to a number of demonstrations within Japan, um, protests. And at that point, the sort of the middle ground in Japan recognized they were being offered a path which seemed like a return to the pre-1941 period. Um, and at that point, Japan moved away from security issues and focused on economics almost entirely.